What is a USP? A USP is a unique selling proposition. What is it about you that you can put in a tagline that you can give to someone really quickly that will tell them what you do or give them enough information to invite them into a dialogue with you? Ours is see the world again for the first time. The strobes are set so that this one will fire here and this one will fire here. They will intersect in front of the model. When light intersects, light bends. When light bends, it becomes soft. So the object of the scene is to fill this space with very soft light. The essence of the human spirit is that objects are invested with emotions. And we teach boot camp here in the cemetery specifically to teach that point. Everything we do is invested with emotion. It's part of what makes us different. The problem is that generally we don't let ourselves be open to that moment, to that experience. In the end, it's part of my responsibility as artist and photographer to be able to be open enough to the world and to the experiences around me to be able to completely understand, articulate, and experience that moment. The question is, in this still video, some of the roses were slightly desaturated. Some of the color was missing. The question was, was that intentional? The answer is yes. OK. Um, this is how we build a still video. We start out with the soundtrack first. Then we select the images based upon the emotion we feel in the music. That effect that you're referring to, we refer to as color over. In the early part of the 20th century, there was no color film. So they would shoot it in black and white, and then they would paint over it, color over it. It has a very specific emotional um, effect on people. And we tend to use it sparingly, but it has a powerful impact. Mm -hmm. Yep. OK, red. Excitement, hot. hot, passion, blood. What do you notice about all these responses? Emotional. Yeah, they're all emotional, and they're all somewhat different. I mean, there's a range within which we can define a color, but there's no single word we all resonate with. Between 1596 and 1636, a number of things happened that have shaped how we live in the 20th century and in the 21st century. And whether you know it or not, they shape the way you think about the world and the way you live your life. Every revolution in the history of the world began with one person who saw the world differently. Great art is not about seeing the ordinary ordinarily. Great art is seeing the ordinary extraordinarily. And that extraordinary begins with what you feel, the essence of being human. It's not so much our intellect. It's our ability to engage our emotion and to give that to the world to experience. And that's a lot more difficult than it looks.